the One Two Football Podcast. The voices of tomorrow here today. Hey guys, welcome back to the One Two Football Podcast. I'm Nathan, and today we're doing something slightly different and drafting a team fit to win the 2021 Premier League. As usual, I'm here with Ollie and Kieran. How are you guys? I'm good, I'm good. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I'm excited and I want to get into it. So yeah, I'm good. Yeah, wow, that was short and sweet. I'm surprised by that. Um, normally you go on for a good two minutes, but no, <laughs> I'm also good. Looking forward to this. Um, this should be a lot of fun, I reckon. Uh, probably some some hot debates and topics as well and who we pick and certain players who probably maybe won't make the cut, actually. Um, but no, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. So I reckon we just crack on with it. Okay, so a quick overview of what it is. Each of us have picked an 11-a-side team in the formation of 4-3-3 with players that we think should get into the team of the year so far. So it's based on the whole season's form. So not your Premier League All-Star 11, but based on form of this season. You can only have two players from each team. So only two from Man United, two from Man City, etc. And only one player can be picked in each of the three teams. So there's going to be 33 players. Once someone has picked it based on a random generator of who goes first, that player is out of all other teams. So, for instance, if someone says De Gea in goal, only that person can have De Gea in goal. So, I said him because obviously no one's probably going to pick him. So, if you have, sorry about that. So, yeah, so uh, we're going to start with the random generator. Nathan, Here we go. go first. On, on a draft um, order generator, okay. we're scrolling down. Who first is going to be straight through the gate. Oh, oh, well, first pick. Oh, Let's it's go. set up. It's set Let's up. VAR, VAR. <laughs> first pick, right. <laughs> I mean, let's get started. Eh? Four three three, and, and four three. The most important thing, I think, in a four three three, you need that playmaker, that man that's going to change the game, the man that's going to do goal. things. But we're going to start in goal and work. No, our way it's, up. it's no, no, no. no it's, it's whatever it's, order. It's a whatever. draft, Ollie. You take what you're given. If you want to pick, you know, you want to pick Casper Schmeichel first, like Loons, you can do that. But right. I don't. Want, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to pick. I'm going. I want to pick Bruno Fernandez. I want Bruno Fernandes in my team. You need a playmaker better these cross days. Him off mine. Better cross him off mine. <laughs> and why not take? Why not take? Why not take one of the best players in the Premier League? Obviously, De Bruyne is a shout for someone else. Because, but Fernandes for me, probably probably player of the season. You got to take it in my team straight away. Kieran, it's on to you next. Uh, Harry Kane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take him out of one. Well, that's that's out of mine. two players. Do I? Do I? Do I do I do I need to say anything really? <laughs> All right, I'm All getting this right. me next. Two, two, two for you, Ollie. Two for you. Yeah. Oh, two for me. Oh yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to disagree with um, Nathan here, and my Man United Player of Season is Luke Shaw. So he is uh, my left back option. So God. I can finally have someone. Who are you going to get for Shaw? He's drafted a left back with his first. <laughs> well, I just knew by the, I wanted to get him. I think he's been Man United's star player this season. He's drafted a left back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got another pick to make up for. Well, it's a good pick, but first pick. Okay, go, go ahead. Yeah, pick, right pick <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a centre back here because I know he's gonna get picked. Okay. I'm going for Ruben Diaz from Man City. Yeah. That's two Man. Yeah, I can't up. argue that. So no, that is it. That's I'm a good. Cross that one out. <laughs> scoring against me. You have, have no one up front, but my defence. <laughs> Kieran, what, who have you got next? I don't know, because I, I, Kane was always going to be my first one. I, I, and now I've got like three players who I'd consider choosing. Um, but I think, I think I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm, I'll go for him. Um, so 4 3 3, I've kind of established it. Someone would sit in the base and hold the midfield role. Um, for that position, I'm going to go for Declan Rice. Oh. Just made out uh, a bit of an outside shout, I'd imagine, but I think he's probably been the best DM in the league this season. Um, come on, leaps and bounds. Obviously, he's injured at the moment, but not counting that, his form has been impeccable. And you know, if, if he hadn't really kind of put in those kind of performances, I doubt West Ham would be in the top four. But there they are, and I think he's a large part of that. He's not he's even going in my team. Man list of any of my players. He's not on any of my forty men. So, that, so I'm happy with that. Okay. I can't. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure also, on that one either. It also kind of means like there's room for two players from other squads if you have someone as good as him at West Ham. Because I doubt many people have chosen players from West Ham. I'm going to get that right side of the pitch settled off. I've got Bruno Fernandes. Let's get Mo Salah in there. Why not? 
Let's get most of it. I, think, I mean, this team is gold. This team what, has what, too what, many goals. What position is that? What? Where have you got him? Left. Up I've front. got him on the right. I've got him on the right. Yeah. All right. Slot in that. Um, Oli, one pick for you. Well, I'm going to go with my striking option then, because I've lost everyone else on my attack main front three. So I'm going to just get my my first one. I'm going with Jamie Vardy. I know he's been uh, oh. not on quite far as much recently, but start of the season. He just gets better like a fine wine. So, Jamie Vardy, my first striker. Nothing needs to be said about any of my players because they've just all been good this season. <laughs> Ooh, wait, is it, is it, yes, you next? can. Okay. Just one? Yeah, just the one. Yeah. It'll be one unless sure. I say different. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go for some. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, mean, I, can't, I, can't. I mean, if I have Kane, I have to have Son because not only are they, are they both world class players by themselves, but together, I mean, they're just quite ridiculous, really. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll go with Son. Yeah. Very threatening front line early on, building for both of us. Good back line for both of us. I've got good defence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So up next, I've got Salah, I've got Fernandez. It's a tough, I'm, I'm a bit stuck to be honest with what I go for next. Because I could, I think centre back. I think centre back. And Oli picked Diaz. I'm gonna I'm go with Stones. I'm gonna go with Stones. My next, my next guy. I think just solid, a solid centre back. In a, in a season that hasn't been too many standouts. Just gonna get him in there. Nice and early. Go on, Kieran. Um, I think I'm also gonna go for a centre back then, just to get someone in who I really want. Um, I'm gonna go for Wesley Fofana. Hmm. Leicester. Yeah. Yeah, I um, think anytime you see us go for our phone, really... <laughs> <laughs> it means not, someone's pick. Who not we play on my list again, so I'm liking your one, Kieran. You're not picked for fun. No. That's fine. I'll just have a better squad than you. So. Oh, right, yeah. Ollie, it's, it's me again, but don't worry, you get two picks after me. I was going to um, say, I've not gone in ages. This is a bit unfair. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to look at that left side. I need to look at my left side right now. And there's a man that's, that's really stood out this season. He's, for me, he's one of the first on the plane with the England squad. Villa, Jack Grealish coming on that left side. I think, I mean, I just can't imagine him at the goals this team. He, he, was, he was on my list. He was on my list. Okay. Go on, Oli. Two was picks. Also on my get list. yourself back in. Right, I'm going to get I'm gonna get a striker and a midfielder onto this. So now I'll have two strikers and my first midfielder. So I'm going to go for striking first. Get another. Wait, who, Vardy's your striker, isn't he? Where's, where's he going to play on the right or left? Vardy's on the right hand side uh, oh, okay. of my attacking trio. Well, I mean, for me, before we even finished, Ollie's squad's ranking third because he's got a striker playing on the right hand side of, of the win. Ollie, Ollie's <laughs> numbers are low. I've got him. Well, to be fair, all of my options up front are, are kind of. I've got wingers, but I haven't picked anyone yet. It's who I go for because he could easily go in the middle. I've kind of. Just, my strikers, I've just got a list of them. I haven't really got them in set positions. Um, but he's got pace, so I'm putting him there because I'm going to pick a side attack. Uh, I'll go my midfield. Pace. I'm going to go for um, my final um, Man City player in Gundogan. Mm. Quality all season. My first. Oh. He's on the. Oh, I forgot what? about him. <laughs> I forgot about him. He's my right of my uh, central midfield. Um, okay, up front. Up, up front. Who do I go for? Uh, I can't go for him because that's Man City. Cogs turning. So Mares is out of my team there. Um, I'm gonna go for that guy. Who's been back? He's gonna be going. I don't care. I I think Barley can go all right. I'm sick of by my guns. I'm going for Dom. I'm going for Calvert Lewin up front for Everton. Okay. I mean, it's a it's a decent show. Hmm. Uh, it's me up next. I think the holding midfield role such an important role as Kieran was saying. Um, and you've got to have, for me, you've got to have the best holder midfielder in the league in there. I'm going to run out of my Liverpool options. I know he's not really played there this season, but we've already seen in a short space of time what he can do when he plays in that position. Fabinho is going to be my holder midfielder. And it's on to Kira. Hmm. Um, I think, yeah, I'm going to go for... Probably someone who I'm going to go for a fullback. I don't know which one yet. I haven't decided. Um, 
let me look at my back. Okay. All right. I'm going to go for who I think um, is probably on par with Luke Shaw as the best left back in the league. Uh, oh, this no, season. Um, yeah, I, I, I was going to show you because I don't mean this traffic bit thickly nice okay. to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so I'm, that you I'm can see who's going next. So it's on this one, go for Kieran. Okay, um, I'm going to go for Kieran Tierney at left back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie, I, 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 had, I had, I had I Shaw and Tierney as my left back. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got to think of my feet here. But right, next up, me. Um, oh, so we've got Fabinho. What's our number? Is that number nine now? This is the 16th draft pick. Oh, the 16th? Oh, Christ. Surely there's a double yeah. for me coming soon. So we've got... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get my... It's a tough one because I've got two players from the same team, but I've already picked, I've already picked a player from that same team and I can't have three. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to secure... Well, I'm going to get my right back in because why not? I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with... Kufal from West Ham. Not not the, not the most glamorous pick, but oh. I don't, I've don't. i just lost my left back. He was on my list for right backs. I've lost my left backs. I'm panicking a bit. Kufal, get him in there. Bring him in. Um, Kieran. It's just few minutes. Uh, I'm going to stick with the right back trend just because you didn't go for who my first choice was. Um, I mean, is he really a right back? I think he can play right back, left back, holding midfield, but he's been immense this season for, for Man City. Maybe not so much recently, um, but over the course of the season he has. I'm going to go for João Cancelo mm. as my right back. You know what? I'm just not going to pick right back until the end then because it can't be picked, my one. So that's it's an easy one to keep <laughs> open for me. Is it me now? Oh, here come yeah, the tactics. I'm going to put, put the mouse here. Okay, all right, it's me. Thank for that. Okay, I'm gonna go with. I'm not. I'm not gonna go for a strike. I'll leave that until one of the end ones. I've got two of them. You need a winger. Gonna... <laughs> I need what? <laughs> you need to work you know, no <laughs> No, I'm gonna go for. Luke Shaw's gonna have to do a lot of attacking. <laughs> I'm gonna go for my midfield. Got one. I'll go for my, my sort of attacking and field role, which was Bruno Fernandes as my starting lineup, but obviously he's gone. So I feel like you guys have all picked your holding midfielders, so that's a role that I can keep waiting as well. So my attacking, this is between two players, is between Mason Mount and Foden. And I'm going to go based off of, oh, I don't know, individual brilliance, you would say Foden, but I'm going to go off. Now he's good as he's. Now, I, I can't have actually, I can't have Foden because I've already had all my Man City players. That makes it very easy. That's Mason Mount. I've already had two Man City players. So there you go. Mason Mount is my yeah, that's good, cam. That's a great <laughs> shout as I'm on, on it. For me. I can't lie. So, me next. You know, we, a, goal, a position we've not touched yet, I don't think, is goalkeeper. I'm not going to go for one of the, the biggest names. Well, he is a big name in goal. Casper Schmeichel. Get him in there. Keep it secure. Lovely stuff. I want to you of it. Me again? Yeah. 20 here. 20, 13 picks to go. Okay. I am going to go for my goalkeeper as well, just so I'm, I've just realised that I'm going to run. I'm not going to pick, I don't think any of my players at a certain rate for goalkeeper because I'm saying the team. So he's a man that I think is personally one of the best goalies in the league. He doesn't play for a big six. It is Martinez at Aston Villa. He's been quality yeah. ever since he started to play consistently for Arsenal and they should have kept him in my mind. And so, yeah, quality, quality. Yeah, I can't go, can't argue with that. Go ahead, Kieran. This is where the big, the, the cogs in the brain start, start spinning. Because I need <laughs> to think about what positions you guys haven't done or have done, the teams that you've done and the ones I haven't done. And, oh, my God. Um, and Mason Mount was going to be my next pick as well, so... That's gone belly up. Um, oh, God. I think I'm going to fill my my right winger spot. Yeah. Um, this would take me up to both players from Manchester City. Uh, and it was Ollie's 
other option in his dilemma, I'm going to go for Phil Foden on the right hand side of my attack. Mm-hmm. Two, two, Ma- Mount and Foden, I feel like this season both been good. So, I mean, it was very hard, but mm. it was made easy choice for me and by you here, really, to pick. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I've taken. I've, I've fixed my, is it my go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fixed my dilemma with my front three. We said 4 3 3. Whenever second classified, I had to. No be- one plays 4 3 3 with three strikers, Ollie. I don't want to hear no, this football. No, I'm not doing that. No I'm, one plays 4 3 3. I'm not doing three strikers. Calm down, calm down. I'm not doing three strikers. But I am going to do a 4, a 3, with a 2 and a 1 behind it. So that's free. That is technically a 4 3 3. Okay. So Fair in all of that, I'm crossing out. Um, not including Watkins, which was one of my people, and I'm going to someone that was actually in it, and I'm going to go with Jota, who can definitely play just mm. behind the striker, mm. and that That's is definitely job. that is definitely fucking good. Oh, I swore that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's unnecessary as well. Oh, I came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kid. Um, so, yeah. So, there you go. You oh, like yeah, Potter. That's a, that's a great oh, shout to, to lead the line. That's what I plan. Go on, Kieran. Oh, okay. Um, Go on, Kieran, recover from it. All these random sweat. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, for me... Um, God. Hmm. I think it's, yeah, I think it is. Let me just double check this. Yeah, I'm going to go for Jesse Lingard at, uh, at camp. That's who I said yes, though. I didn't have in it. Yeah. I don't know why That's... I didn't, but fair, I picked um, I, I know he'd only really started playing towards the end of January, early February. But I mean, what he's done in those two months probably equates to what some have done for the entire season. So I think it's... I think it's somewhat justified. Um, and out of nowhere, he's got himself back in the England squad. So, I mean, if that doesn't say everything you need to know then I mean, and I think it works well with the formation as well because you can have Kane drop deep and Lingard just loves running as we saw yesterday with his goal against Wolves so I mean I think in this team he would thrive as well I got to secure my, my next centre-back and ideally you know if I was Gareth Southgate this would be my, my centre-back partnership for the Euros I'm going to go with my other Aston Villa option I'm going to go Esri Concert next to John Stone and just a solid quick centre-back I can tell someone wanted it <laughs> I, 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 he's not in my main two. He's my third option, so it's all good. I think just a good player, solid. John Stones, that's pace, physicality, bit of everything. Love it. Go on, Kieran. I've took Esri Concert, but who are you going to take? Oh, I don't go in ages. Um, okay. Uh, so, I think I'm going to go for my other centre-back um, part. Uh, my other centre-back. Um, someone who kind of opposite of Lingard over the last two to three months hasn't really been that good but I mean revolutionised a team's defence in the first half of the season and I think would be a great partner with Fafana um, because he has the experience I'm going to go for Thiago Silva there goes my um, second one and my third <laughs> <Chelsea>. <laughs> at least I got Ruben Diaz in there so whoever I put is going to have a nice partner <laughs> unbelievable right I'm stuck here because I've still got to pick a striker and I've still got to pick a centre mid I'm saving left back till last. I've got two picks there. So I'm saving my left back till last because I've got to think about who I'm going to put left back without looking at my notes. So, striker, we get this team. I mean, it's got Fernandez, Greedish, that it's going to take create a lot of chances. And I'm stuck between do I have a guy that kind of is also a real good chance creator or I have a guy that is in a team that doesn't create any many chances but is a great finisher? That's what I'm stuck between. And I've probably forgot someone as well in that. I probably forgot to put someone in. I'm going to go with Patrick Bamford as, as my striker. I think this season he's been super clinical. Obviously, that was a criticism levelled at him last season. But in this team, you know, pace might be a bit of a worry, but I think Bamford Bamford's good enough to, to get in there, get those chances and, and guide my team to glory. Bring my solid goal. OK. Now, my centre-backs have been royally i've been royally screwed here because i know i got diaz in but you've taken not only silver not only stones but also concert who were my along with diaz were my main four so now i'm dropping back into my my fifth and well, he's sixth. gonna have to think on his feet no i've got i've got i've got more options wrote down i that's why i've got a 40 man <laughs> list <laughs> my god it's just i definitely no i'm gonna make a bold statement here and if it loses me my team, then it loses me my team because I'm going to go with my gut. I was going to say Keane from Everton. However, I'm not. 
This man, I think, with the guidance of Diaz next to him, I know he's technically, I think he's definitely younger Diaz, but I'm going to go with Maguire. And because... you're going to pick Maguire. I, I just, he does have his off moments, granted. But I think he just needs a strong partner to go with him. And that can go with Lindelof as well. But Diaz, I think, would make, make Maguire look a, 10 times the better player that he is. Because I think he is a good player. And I think he's shown it in recent games that he has been solid. So I'm going to go Maguire because he gets a lot of hate. But... I honestly still do think he's a quality centre back. So yeah, I'm gonna go with my guts. Don't care if that drops me down in your team's ranking, but I'm going Maguire. Okay, I mean a big bit experience pick. Yeah, well, I mean the thing about that as well is um, he's a good centre back at the end of the day. Still, regardless yeah. of the of the stick he gets and stuff, he and probably with some guys. Can't exactly be bad, can he? No. Well, actually, I was <laughs> captain for a while. Correct me if I'm wrong. What? Um, is it? Am I on my last second? Yeah, it's last you. You up next? Okay. You'll go. You'll go. Well, on. I've got goalkeeper and centre midfielder there. Goalkeeper, I know you've both taken yours, so I'm, I'll just have a think on the spot for that one of the few names I've got. So I'm going to go for a central midfielder. Um, uh, a lot of mine have been yeah. taken. If you um, take what I've got here. A lot of mine have been taken, <laughs> and a lot of the club's limits have been used. Um, but I still have one more space. Well, let me just double check. Wait, what position are you doing? A in? Leicester player. Um, and <laughs> it's not going to be Hamza Chowdhury, I'll tell you that much. Uh, no. It's going to be your no, you absolutely no. Oh. <laughs> You're going for Tlaib? No. I left no. no choice. I was like, I was so confidently. Wait, so what position is he playing for you? Why is he playing for you? Uh, right, so I, I've done it with my midfield three. I've got a holding midfielder, someone who can play box to box, and someone who can push on forward. Yeah. So holding is Rice, box to box Tillemans, push forward is Lingard. Okay, my go, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. both of my positions, yeah. I think, are free for me to pick my number one places because they've all been said. So I'm going to go with my holding midfielder. Now, this was a tricky one for me. Because there's two players, and I'll name both of them in a minute, who I really want to go for. And I'm going to shock some people when I say this. But Kieran's going to love this option that I'm going to pick for my defence. He's not going to pick Hoyer. So, Kieran, do you want to name who you think I'm going to pick? Because I am picking him. Is it because you, is it cause you pronou- can't pronounce his name? It, that may be why I'm going to say, say it, yes. But... <laughs> 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 so that, do you, um, want, you know who it is. Saves me the embarrassment. Yep, I can. Yep, Spurs number one holding midfielder, Harry Winks. No, that is not. <laughs> Harry Winks, well, wow, great oh, pick. Oh, no, wow. it's uh, Pierre-Emile Foybier. I am. Did you hear that? Foy- yeah, Foybier. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I am picking what him. What a man. His tackles, his interception rate for a... I know I, I don't watch much of Tottenham. I know I'm not his biggest thing, but I think it's the sort of position which... Oh, God, his, lucky for you. In which he <laughs> is going to be sort of the silent, you know, person pulling the string. So I'm going to put him in there because next to Mount and next to Gundogan, I think that is a very, very good um, midfield three. You've got someone good like Mott, someone that's scoring goals. Gundogan might as well play his up front, to be fair, um, with that. So, you know, so yeah, that is my um, my midfield three done. Right, my last two picks. Um, right. I can't believe he's not been said. And I think he's a bit more of a holding midfielder. But I mean, the guy knows where the back of the net is. I've got Kufal. It's only right I get Thomas to check in. That was my second him. one. I didn't say who I was going to say, did I? I was going to say, yeah, Thomas <laughs> was the other person I was looking at. That, but I was all a bit more defensive. That check connection, it has to be there in my team. And then left back, the only position I was, I was looking through, what teams have I not picked anyone from? And Spurs came up. And I know he's been injured recently, but Reggion has to come in at, at left back for me. Oh, Just the Spurs a, a, a one at class, the end is strong. A class player. And I think, I think he takes this team from, you know, a title-winning team, so possibly an invincible team right now, this team. And my team's looking strong. Oli, go close out with your last two. So my final position, to cement what I reckon is my strongest aspect of the team, which is my defence, I'm going to go for my second Chelsea player with Rhys James. I had a nightmare yeah. picking my right-backs here. Yeah, um, so he's a right-back. So I'm going to go that. So my final position, to cement my team, is Reese James. We'll go through all our teams in a minute, but that my final one is right back, Reese James. Go on, Kieran. Who, who's the last oh, player? The big show here? closer. Um, well, I hadn't realised this up until Ollie just mentioned that um, about having only one Chelsea player and that there was still room for one more. Um, so what my position left is is a goalkeeper. 
Um, initially, because a lot of my players have been taken. You're doing um, Kappa. I have a lot of. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> You're doing Kappa. Yes, no. you lose. Your team. Sure Rudiger's not in that team. <laughs> <laughs> well, initially, my my two choices were Nick Pope, Burnley, just mm -hmm. a solid keeper. Maybe not a kicking, but all round other than that. Um, the other sort of option was maybe quite surprising, but kind of had a Jordan Pickford like season. Um, is Sam Johnson? You know when Ooh, when Jordan Pickford was I saving every single shot for Sunderland when they went down, he was fantastic. Um, but I, I look at it and I, I do worry if it had the same effect, where maybe if he gets put in front of a better defence, his mistakes will be highlighted more possibly, as kind of what happened with Pickford. And because I've realised the Chelsea situation, um, I am going to go for Eduard Mendy as my keeper. Yeah. That closes well, out my team. Solid, solid. I'm going to stop the share. So the recording will look a little bit different here. Sort the share. We'll go back to us three. No more draft simulators here. We're going to run through our team. Um, who wants to go first? Okay. So I think we've, we've all agreed that we'll, we'll start um, with the best team. That's why I'm going first with the team <laughs> I've selected. Wait, you're doing that. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So, in goal, obviously, as my most recent pick was Eduard Mendy, it was kind of a last-minute decision, to be honest. Um, and although maybe in the last few months his saves haven't been as highlighted just because of how solid Chelsea have been at the back, minus the game against West Brom, um, but I still think that he's a fantastic keeper. Um, and kind of that, that says everything you need to know, really, about him. Moving on to right-back, Gal Cancelo. Uh, another player who arguably probably had a better first half part of the season. Uh, either way, completely revolutionised his performances this season under Pep. Um, can play in multiple positions as well if he's if he's required there. So, you know, why not? Centre-back partnership, I've got Wesley Fofana and Thiago Silva. Um, the experience and winning pedigree of Silva is just something quite special, really, when you consider how many trophies he's won um, and how he's still kind of, maybe not in his prime, but he still looks like a top quality centre-back despite his age. Wesley Fofana has come over from League One and is absolutely tearing it up with Leicester. Um, even in their most recent defeat, which it was Man City, he was by far the highlight, the high point of that. He can play in a back five as well if needed. Um, and he's got some, he's got lightning pace, really, for a centre-back. Um, left back, I was going to choose uh, Luke Shaw, but I think Kieran Tierney's had just as good, if not a better <clears throat> season. I think he's been Arsenal's best player this season, uh, comfortably. Um, he's kind of shaken off those injury problems that plagued him for the first few spells of his, his career at the Emirates. And in this season, you know, I, I watched him against Spurs, obviously, and he absolutely tore Matt Doherty a new one. And I mean, everyone seems to do that at the moment, but still, <laughs> every time he plays, it, it's something quite special. Holding midfield, um, one of my first choices, I've gone for Declan Rice. Out injured at the moment, um, possibly missing the Euros, hopefully not if he can get fit in time. Um, but this season for West Ham, they're fourth. I mean, he's been a massive part of that. Um, so, and I think he does a really good job with obviously Suchet next to him. Obviously here, he's kind of in the sole role, but I think he's more than capable of, of doing it. Um, slightly just ahead of him, kind of in the, if you want to play a double pivot, you can, because I think this player can do that, um, is Yuri Tillemans. Normally would probably be next to Ndidi in your classic Leicester team. Um, but under Rodgers, he's, he's a goal scorer midfielder as well. Um, he'll be allowed that that time and space to get forward, um, but also come back and defend if, if needed to. Uh, just ahead of him, Jesse Lingard. Uh, to be honest, it's more of a free roam position for Lingard. I'm just going to kind of let him roam wherever he wants um, because it seems like that's what they're doing at West Ham and, and he's thriving with it. And I think he'll do the exact same in this team. Um, looking at my front three now, uh, Phil Foden on the right, um, kind of finally this season been given his chance properly by Pep in the first team. You know, we've seen snippets of how good he can be at the end of games where City have comfortably won, but now he's, he's taken that ball and completely run away with it. You know, look at his performance um, against Liverpool. He was insane. Um, and he's still only 19, 20, so plenty to come from him. Can run in behind, pick up the ball to his feet brilliantly. Uh, up front, slash cam, slash CDM, slash defender, wherever he wants to play, to be honest, um, is Harry Kane. Probably would make him my captain as well. I don't know if we've kind of said what who would be captain, but I feel like that could be a nice added um, element of this draft. Um, he's just been brilliant for Spurs this season and revolutionised kind of the centre forward of how he plays. I think he's top of the assist chart and he's second in the goal scoring chart. So, I mean, 
that kind of tells you everything you need to know about his season. Um, and finally, to cap it off, uh, his partner in crime, arguably, for the first part of the season, uh, in Hung Min Son. Another Spurs player, yes. Um, it was never going to be a defender for Spurs because, I mean, they can't defend. Um, but, I mean, they can score goals quite quite well as well. And you look at the percentage for goals scored by Spurs that have come from Kane and Son, it's, it's an overwhelming majority. Um, and I think these two in the same team, surrounded by these kind of players with an actual defence, um, would be terrifying. And they wouldn't have to worry about scoring four or five a game because I feel like this defence would keep plenty of clean sheets. Um, so that's my team. I'm obviously right. the manager with my tactical <laughs> masterminds from the dugout. Um, it was yeah, so good team, until you said that. Trip. It was going so right. good until you just said you were the manager of your tactical. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just your bottom. <laughs> right. So are we, who are we finishing with? Uh, who's coming second or third? Because um, I've done. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I want, like, what do you think of Kieran's team? Just hearing that. I've I've wrote it down as it's going. I'm I'm labelling the players from zero to ten in ratings, and I'm going to calculate it up so I can rate who I personally think as a oh non the best team. Um, <laughs> okay, it's a good team. I I think your attack is your best part. The Kane and Son partnership will, is lethal in any scenario, and you add Phil Foden to that. Um, it's yeah, it's a, it's a solid one. Um, yeah, I mean, the t- midfield is what I think kind of lets it down. And isn't Jesse Lingard is good. He's He's been amazing this season. I am I know everyone loves Declan Rice. I think he's just a bit average. I'm not his biggest fan, I won't lie. I never have been. I don't think I ever will be. I don't think he's worth £80 million pounds that everyone want, that they want for him. I, so I think he's... A, but Tilly, Tilly's moon, um, I think, yeah, he's good. But I think it's a good team. I just think your midfield is, if I have to narrow it down to a weaker point, I would say your midfield. But... I think your Thiago Silva, I wanted him. I think his quality is he showed his class this season, apart from obviously his red card um, in the last game. And yeah, I mean, Fofano's a great youngster. Um, I just want to say, you said that your number one was Luke Shaw. And then you said Kieran Tierney has probably had a better season. So if you really thought that, he wouldn't have been your second choice. So I'm not having was, that, you saying that. It was, it was the dynamic of who I wanted, like where, because I feel like. Luke Shaw this season has probably had better crossing and stuff. And with Son constantly running in behind, I wanted Shaw down the channel. But obviously, to kind of fit that, I had to go for Tierney. So, suited to the, the, the how I want the team to play, Shaw would be better. But in terms of who's had a better season, maybe more of an impact on their team, it's probably Tierney. Because I don't think you could say... Well, you probably could say Luke Shaw's been United's best player, but that's, also you've had to stick Bruno Fernandes player. up there. Whereas, whereas Tierney with Arsenal, it's literally Tierney in a league of his own. Luke Shaw, I think, has been consistent. I think Bruno's kind of dipped off recently. I know he's still getting in the assist, but <laughs> he's, still, he's still been good. But I think Luke Shaw's just been better than him. I personally, I, Bruno's probably going to get you know play a season at United, but I feel yeah. Un- I don't think I don't think Man United would be in the position they're in if Luke Shaw was fit and Bruno wasn't. I think Bruno could be. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah. If Bruno well, wasn't I, fit. I personally I mean, think Bruno's the reason United are where they are. The biggest impact, it's Luke Shaw's what got man of the match for Man United several times, the majority of times in the last couple of games. I know Bruno, I'm pretty sure, got the last time out, but I mean, Luke Shaw's just been immense. But yeah, no, like we're looking at your team, it's, it's a great team. That The attack is what scares me the most, but I'm happy that I've got a really strong defence in my one, so you know. Do you want to go, you want to go straight into what he got? You've, right. got a, you've got a strong defence, let's hear it. Yeah, okay. All right, so starting in goal. All right, he's not a big six person, but I think he's he's probably been one of the better goalkeepers in the league since you know he made that break for Arsenal. So it is Martinez um, for Aston Villa. By the way, did, you didn't have anyone more than twice, did you? Just jumping back into yours. I just thought, no, you didn't. Um, I don't think so. No. Two Tottenham. I've got two Leicester, two Tottenham, two City, one Arsenal, two West, West Ham, Ham, two Man City. Already said that probably. Yeah, no, I think I'm good. You're good, you're good. Yeah. Okay, so mine. I've checked mine. Unless I've gone crazy, it definitely hasn't got more than two. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, Martinez. Now, my defence just said what I need to say about Luke Shaw. He's been exceptional for Manchester United. Ruben Diaz, his effect on the Manchester City defence is obvious to all who understand and like football. Even if you don't like football, I understand that you can see he's a quality, quality defender. And for such a young age as well, you forget how young he is, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, him next to Maguire. I just do think Maguire is... I think Maguire is a very good centre-back. He just has moments of madness. But I think in this defence, it would kind of iron out and make it less noticeable. But no one can take away. He is a st- quality defender. He just has moments of 
going crazy. But I do think he is solid. Yeah, okay, maybe you know Kane goes all against him. He might have that moment, so he might get a goal here. But I trust my my rest of the team to do with that. Too. Um, uh, Reese James uh, is my right back after much. Eventually, yeah, um, <laughs> I've got Reese James. Okay, so my defence, like I said, Luke Shaw, Ruben Diaz, Maguire, and uh, Reese James. My midfield three. Now, you may look at it and not think it's the strongest, but I think it works perfectly. My holding midfielder is Hoyerberg. Okay, that's just made me win, win already in the eyes of um, Kieran. <laughs> He's loving that. So but I'm uh, going to rate it. He's getting a ten. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's my uh, my holding midfielder. My one that's kind of more box to box, and my captain, who was captain Germany uh, in the international break, is Gundogan. I think captain Germany anyway, if I'm not mistaken, um, is Gundogan. Um, and also maybe if we need a desperate goal, chuck him up front because um, he's he's been lethal this season. And then in my sort of free to roam going forward is uh, Mount. He, everyone didn't think he was going to do the same as he was doing under Lampard um, with Tuchel, but he's proven himself. And for England, he was probably one of our best players in the qualifiers. So, I mean, quality, quality player. Now, unlike your guys, I'm not doing a two wingers up front. I'm doing a sort of a cam sort of centre forward with my type two strikers. So, I'm going to have Diego Jota behind the two, who... Yeah, I know he was injured for the last parts of the season, but for country and going into the restart in the last game, he's been electric in front of goal. He's what? I know he got two against Serbia. Or was it against Serbia? Yeah, it was against Serbia. He got two the other night. So, I mean, speaks for himself. And he's made the move from... Or the winner against Wolves as well. Yeah, he made, he's made the move from Wolves to um, Liverpool. Looks so easy. He's just, it's just taken in his stride. So respect for him for that, despite hating Liverpool. He's done very well. Um, and I wasn't sure if he was going to fit into the starting 11 when he signed, but he needs to be in there. He needs to be in that starting 11. He is, he's amazing. Sure. But if he can get into Liverpool's starting 11, that just shows how good this team is. Um, anyway, and then up front, no one can argue Vardy's ability. We spoke about him a podcast or two ago about how he just he's one of the players that, despite getting older, isn't really losing it. He's still electric with pace. He, he scored goals from anywhere. So Vardy is there. He's scoring goals for fun. Um, and Dominic Calvert Lewin, he has died down a bit. I know in recent he's kind of dipped in form. He did really well at the start of the season, but he's in the top goal scorers uh, in the Premier League. So Dominic Calvert Lewin is my sort of main man to get the headers. And I like that though. Dominic Calvert Lewin is going to be that presence for the air. Whereas Vardy's going to be the one running around the defence. So I think that duo would work really well. So, mine goes. Martinez, Luke Shaw, Ruben Diaz, Maguire with Rhys James. Holding midfield up Hoyerberg. Then Gundogan kind of box to box. Mason Mount going yeah, free throwing sort of in the Lingard position. With Jota just in the centre forward position. With um, Dominic Cavett-Lewin and Jamie Vardy up front. No one can argue that it's not a good team. Sounds like a 4 3 one two more than a 4-3-3 to be honest with you. We've got to bend in the rules. Clearly you're seeing this as more of a threat because you're picking holes at it. So I'm going to take... No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When we we, we went for the 4 3 3 we stayed structured. You've gone for a different you formation. That's fine. You didn't say 4-3. Yeah, yeah, we didn't say 4 3 one two. <laughs> We didn't say that. That's a 4 3 You said 4 3 3 That's a 4 3 3 It's not. Is it is a 4 are those Are those three forwards on the same level, like the same line in terms of how they'll play? Just dip forward. No. You're telling me Harry Kane's going to be in the exact same line as Son and Phil Foden? No, he's going to be further forward up. Yeah, that's how 4 3 works. Yeah, exactly. Right wing, left wing, you're striker. telling me that all of my not players got to be in the not same 10, line. Nine. If you play a 4 3 3, the likelihood is you have three up front. If you play a 4 3 3, but it's actually a 4 3 1 2, you're going to have the one behind the two. Yeah, but Harry Kane's going to be in front of your two wingers, so yours aren't all in line. You can't just say. No, they're going to. Uh, what 4 3 3 have you seen where they're not you're somewhat going, in line? You're going like that. You're going to have your one and you're going to have your two further back just out wide. No, I, I'm not. I'm, if this I'm having the one. If this on the same level. If we ever have the opportunity, obviously we're not, to do this, your team's going to be ripped apart because your three players are all going to be in a line sat there like little ducks. No, so, that's not how. They're not. Four, they can break two wings. They're not. They're not. They're not. The winger, winger, striker. What the striker does, when the ball is out, it's a kicking midfielder. They won't be sat in a line, but when, when, so if the other team have the ball, they will be Son on the left, keeping an eye on that, Kane in the middle, Bowden on the right, following the ball in a line. Goa is great recently. 
So that ain't a line. The Ollie, man, you realise that you've been out of here. Now you're going to be I completely disagree with you. Your front three are not going to be in a line. You're going to have your two wings. Why wouldn't they be in a line? With your striker further forward. You picked the information. That's okay. We'll move on from. You picked the okay. forward. That's fine. Okay. I do like the attack. The attack. The attack is good. The, the lack yeah. of width may be an issue. Um, obviously, with those two having two three central figures, obviously Yotta can move around and create spaces. I generally like the team, Kieran. What, what do you think? Well, I, I've, I've rated it as well, um, and I mean overall, it's got some pretty high ratings. Um, you, you said in the explanation that you would have Diaz next to Shaw. Would it be better to maybe have Maguire next to Shaw just for that familiarity of being that kind of partnership? I mean, I'm doing this as if these guys have been in the team for years, so familiarity or not. Okay, okay. Well, I, well, I didn't know that, did I? Because I've used I've used the Kane and Son Matt. kind of reference. You're attacking me. <laughs> I'm just I'm not. Atta- I, well, you pointed some holes in my midfield, so I think I'm allowed to do the same to you. No, this not. is the sign of a desperate man who is who's hanging on for dear life. Aaron Cresswell, Andy Robertson is his right back. And I can take I can take um, you know people like <laughs> criticising the team, but I can't. No, you can't. Out. I can't take. <laughs> To finish, I can't take it when you try and criticise perfection. So that's why I'm a bit bemused. I've got the so, morality okay. of this team. Okay. I'm not sure. But we, Nathan, right, well, you want to close right, this Right, so this team is in a 4-3-3 formation. So in not, goal... Not a 4-3-1-2. <laughs> one, 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 okay, nice. We're going to go 4-4-2 four, four, with this one. Um, no, so in goal, <laughs> it's going to be Kasper Schmeichel, a reliable man. He's been at the top level of the Premier League for the last few years. I, th- I think he's just probably, in terms of reliability, aside from the best two goalkeepers, probably the most reliable one. So he had to go in there in goal. Right back, I've got Kufal from West Ham. Solid right back, doesn't do a lot wrong. I mean, doesn't really do much wrong. He's kind of them jack of all trades, master of none. Just a solid, solid guy down, coming up and down that right wing. Good, good engine on him. So perfect for, for that role on the left. We've got Reguilon. Again, good player, great attacker. And, and kind of with who's playing on that left for me. Which we'll get to. I think it works perfectly. He still likes to get forward, get down the flank, which is which I think is important, and get crosses in, which which is going to help help my team. And I think just a generally good player. He's been injured, and we have some nice hand for him as well if he does well. Um, two centre backs. I've got what I think should be the England centre back partnership for the Euros. I don't think it will be. It's John Stones and Ezri Concert. I would have rather had Fafana. He was taken. I would, you know, there's a few other players I was thinking for the centre back, but. I think Stone's very solid, um, great on the ball. Obviously, he has a mistake in him, but as does every centre back in the Premier League, it seems nowadays. I think as does every centre back in the world. Ezri Concert has really burst through this season. Complete kind of, if you want a prototype for a modern day centre back, you're kind of looking at what Ezri Concert has. And I think he could be a, a real player. I don't know how old he is. I think he's like 24, 25. Mm, yeah, he's not, he's not that far along. I think he could definitely be in line for a big move come. In, in a year or two time because I mean he just he's a fantastic player but you know you look at the maybe the slight inexperience of my centre backs and who you're going to put in front of them I'll just put the best holder midfielder in the league in front of them in Fabinho just he's just very good I, I, I don't really need to explain too much he's just very good at what he does big reason why Liverpool won the league last year big reason why Liverpool in such great form at the minute can keep him three clean sheets on the bounce next to him I wasn't sure with this one because I originally had Mount to, to go in this role but uh, you know, I saw I saw kind of everyone was picking, you know, everyone who everyone was picking, and, and Calvin Phillips crossed my mind, but I think he's too um, defensive for this role. I've gone with Thomas Suchet, solid central midfielder, got goals in him, box to box. We well, probably wouldn't have been a player any of us would have put near our team last season, you know, because just of not really knowing who he was and just seeing him. But now we've seen he, he's worked himself into being one of the most kind of not underrated because I think everyone rates him, but like one of the most kind of under the radar players. Everyone kind of knows he's good, but we don't really talk about it. For Thomas mm-hmm. Suchek, and in that 10 role. I mean, is he the best player in the league? Bruno Fernandes, uh, he's definitely up there. Yeah. And you need game changers. Bruno Fernandes, absolute game changer. Man United's best player. Arguably the best player. When everyone's fit, I think in the Premier League, he's probably the second best player in the league behind Van Dijk when everyone's fit. And best attacking player in the league. Obviously, De Bruyne would be in all of our teams probably if, we, if he wasn't injured for most of the season. But... Bruno Fernandes comes in, game changer. He'd be my captain if, if you're interested. Just complete win enough. That his attitude, you know, at times it can annoy you when he's when he's throwing tantrums and, and stuff. But he just wants to win so bad. He's just an incredible player. On the left, I've got probably the the breakthrough star of this season. We already knew how good he was, but Jack Grealish has really shown he's world class this season. 
and is and it's probably if he didn't love Aston Villa so much, he'd be talking about him moving away to one of the big clubs. I think he should be one of the first on the plane to the Euros. He's going to work great, I think, with Greggy on as well. Grealish, it'll be a more free roaming from the left. He is a left wing and he will start there. But it's going to be that kind of role he plays for Aston Villa where he gets to get on the ball, create chances wherever he wants to drift in on the right. He's going to feed Reggie on who's coming down the left side. And I, and I think that will work brilliantly. On the right, Mo Salah, again, one of the best players in the league, the best goal scorer in the league, in my opinion, um, has proven that for the last four years. Top player. He's going to be the man in this team. We're going to feed him the ball. He's going to score goals. I mean, this guy might score 40 or 50, to be honest, with the way we're feeding him. Bruno Fernandes, Jack Grealish, not to mention... Let me say my striker, Patrick Bamford, whose who's main strength is creating chances. It's what he does best. He can put them away. But Bamford is a great movement, good hold-up player, can create chances for the team. With the way Grealish and Fernandez moving in, we're going to feed Salah all day. And if the rest want to chip in the goal, of course they can. Feel free. You know, I, I can see this team, you know, this team might lose one game. Might lose one game, but I, I can't see it. I think it uh, yeah, but after we beat you about five or six times, you know, I might have to make a few changes. Might bring in, you know, Aaron Cresswell in or something. You know, we'll switch it up. I'll right back. Yeah, right back. We'll keep fast. I'll keep my player limit. Um, but I, I, look, I think my team's very strong. I, if you point out my own flaws in the team, I think maybe there's a slight lack of pace up front. But, and a, and a little bit of inexperience, but that's the whole point of Fabinho being in older midfield. He's made Phillips into back look like one of the best set back partnerships in the league. I'm sure I'll be all right with John Stones as we can't see. I mean, that was kind of my only, not worry as such, but that was kind of the area where I thought, oh, that might be a bit touchy, Is was the centre of that partnership. But was, you made a very good point about Fabinho and what he's done for Quebec and Phillips there. Um, I think that's probably all round wise. I think, I, I'll be honest, I think Nathan probably got the best team. Um, you picked very smartly um, and maybe not by going for a striker who we, I think we all considered because Bamford was kind of fifth, sixth on my list but you've made some very good points for how the team's going to work um, and when you look at around him as well if he doesn't get those goals look at the amount Grealish has got this season look at the amount Bruno's got look at the amount Suchek has got um, so in terms of how the team will work and the dynamic of it I think it's very strong I won't lie well, I bet Ollie, Ollie's probably got something to say <laughs> 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 No, I think that you have got a very strong team. I'm just, I'm just calculating my, um, my score. <laughs> um, no, no, you've. I think that your, your attack in your midfield, is by far the best. It's your defence that I think personally lets you down. Um, Kufau, you know, he's at, yeah, he's had a great season. Um, but I don't think he is on the le- like the level necessarily as. But that could obviously that is coming in the bias of you know the bigger names. Um. Regulon, um, I think he's good. I don't think he's the best choice. I feel like Tyranny and um, Shaw are a better option. I had Tyranny down. I had Tyranny down. I um, think Kieran's told him. And I think Konsa, obviously, he's great. He was my... Um, he was my Konsa and John Stones were, I think, my backup. What was it? Backup two? Yeah, they were my backup two defenders. Um, after uh, Ruben Diaz and Thiago Silva. Obviously, you took that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're great. It's a great option. I think, personally... You will be scoring a hell of a lot of goals, but you will also be see- conceding a few goals here and there. But um, that's I'm where the management cal- comes in. I'm just calculating, calculating <laughs> my score up now. So give me two seconds. I, yeah, I've no, got I- some scores as well, so I think I'll, I'll calculate them. I have. I- I've calculated mine, and I'm not going to lie to you. This is all very, very close. I mean, and- the deciding vote goes down to you know all, all the millions of viewers and listeners around the world. It'll go down to them. We'll, we'll put this out on Twitter, guys. You can check this out. At one two football, you will put a poll out, and you guys can vote who's got the best team in you, in your opinion. But you know, I, I, t- I take that criticism with the, with the centre back because I wasn't sure Diaz and Fofana was my ideal the, kind of two. The thing is, though, I reckon if you look at that defence in what in like two three years time, I would say that's probably going to be up there yeah. and gonna have a lot higher ratings because Conte mm. still young and so, and John Stones. I know he's not really young, young, but Conte will bring up and John Stones might mature and uh, More experience, yeah. those errors. Yeah, um, but I mean. I don't. I know that a lot were taken, but I I know Bamford's good. I just feel like you maybe could have had a better option. But I'm just trying to look at it to see who. Yeah, I don't think there's many because there's a lot that are on the same level. I felt because yeah. like Watkins, uh, Wilson, Wilson was my other one because I thought like he's made no chances in that 
Newcastle team. So imagine a team that's going to create chances. Was guys going to score. wasn't picked, was it? I would have picked Watkins, no. but I still would have rated them the same ratings. I don't know what I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, I think there's a lot of... Play- Yotta was my ideal pick for striker, but then I realised I wanted for being... So I was like, I'm happy. Yeah, you also have to counter in the two limit at clubs. Yeah. You know, that kind of played a part in mine. That's kind of why I went for Rice off the bat, so I could get a West Ham player in. And so I could then free up more room for, so I could choose a Chelsea player at the end to go in goal. That kind of, that was kind of playing on my yeah. mind a little bit. I'm just going to say this. Oh, have we got the calculations? <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go now. I personally think that I'm not doing that overall. I'm just going to quickly just go for the edge. I did. I think mine's got the best defence. I think Nathan's got the best midfield, and I think Kieran's got the best attack. That's how I'm looking at that. I think Son, Kane, and Phil Foden um, just nip it because Kane's better than. Bamford, Son's better than Grealish, and Phil Foden isn't better than Salah, but it's just the way that rolls. I think um, your midfield of, I'm trying to just rotate my paper here, of Bruno, <laughs> Ducic and Fabinho is just better than all the rest of the three. But I feel yeah, like my defence of Shaw, Diaz, Maguire and James is better than the other defences. So that's yeah, my point. Oh, should we say third place, then we work up? We'll do third, then first, then second. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got to think about people's so teams my, here again. My third place, by the way, it's obviously out of 110 points, as long as my maths isn't wrong there. 10 points per player. Is, yeah, player. 110. Um, my third place is Kieran. Um, and Joke. Third place, <laughs> but with 87 points. Very high. Very. By the way, can I just say, there is only... What have I got? The, the winner is on 91. You on uh, 87, I think it was, I said. And then the other nice. one is on 90. So it's all very close in terms of points. Third place for you, Kieran, then? Oh, you, mate. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, don't no get me point. wrong. Your defence is very strong, <laughs> and I like the midfield as well. It's just the three at the front, which just... I, I think the dynamic would work, but I mean... You've just gone against what we said, so like, yeah, I, just, I, mean, I just don't think it's fair how you've chosen it. And, you know, not going you say Mount's in the three, but I feel like Mount and Jot could get in each other's way at times, and the width is a bit of a problem. Um, I just, oh, Matt, no, your team's good. I disagree with I, that. I, I, fit in it, so. I haven't that's done fine, calculations, fine, because wrong. this was on the fly thing. Um, my third place team... Oh, it's a tough one because I like all these front three, but it's against the rules. It's not against the rules. Really <laughs> <laughs> <It's not, laughs> can, can I say one thing right now, okay? Fair enough. Okay, but, your views, but you said 4 3 3. You didn't tell me in yeah. which positions the three had to go in. You just said. Yeah, well, I didn't say 4 3 1 2. I said 4 3 3. It's not, it is a 4 3 3. It's just the way you place it. Who's like, playing on the right and left then? Like, yeah. who's on the wing and who's leading the were line? For, if you were forcing me to do what I was doing, I would have Jota. Vardy, and then I'd have Calvert Lewin, but that's not the way I'm having it. My 4 3 3 doesn't work it's that way. <laughs> Change formation mid game, but that's. that's <laughs> it. I, um, oh, it's a tough one because I think, you, I mean, I know, I, obviously, I'm, I'm biased. I've not done the calculation. Do you know what? Just to, just to, I'm a back here now. The rule, the rule enforces. Oh, all these coming in third, but very, very he slim is margin. This podcast is not getting I'm uploaded. Not, I'm, fuming, <laughs> I'm fuming. I'm fuming because. That is just that doesn't that's just unfair. You didn't say that to be that three. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's, it's a, I think it's a DQ DQ third. You've been able to pick two strikers. Me and Nathan can pick two strikers. Moving on. Moving yes, on. very true. Good on. You, I, no one said you had to have two wingers. You picked that. <laughs> a four-three-three three is two wingers. <laughs> Everyone knows. 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 No one has ever played. No, that's no, a way you play three I think, I think it's pretty obvious who's won anyway. I think Nathan won with me with nine. Yeah, Nathan's taken this for me. So, in my ratings, it was Kieran on 87, mine on 90, and then Nathan on 91. Um, yeah, and then that does my um, my three ratings. Yeah, I'm backing myself doing as well. Uh, nice. There we go, right. There we are, the draft. Let us know who you think won that. We're going to put a poll up, as I said, on Twitter. Well, do you agree with our verdict? Did I break the rules? More, yeah. let, let us know on Twitter when we upload that poll Friday when this podcast.